what is up my ASMR and fragrance family it is a your boy your whispering perfume pimp Christopher Cologne and I am back with another video so what I have is I just did last night which is tonight is Christmas night I did this other video on Christmas Eve the other video was my best buy my best fragrance buys of 2023 so this one is my worst fragrance buys of 2023 so it's raining so I went ahead and opened up the window just so we could get that real rain effect but I want 
gonna say it, it'll have it has some citruses in it maybe sandalwood vanilla uh, yeah I mean I like it it's good especially for 11 bucks but I think it's discontinued because it's not on their site so I see it for sale on others but I couldn't pull up a note breakdown on any of it so I don't know which hold up I will look at one thing okay never mind what I was gonna look up it, it's not it's not there so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this phone on the charger because it's about to die so I thought it was charged up more I don't see how I had a phone that was charged this morning and I haven't used it all day went dead when it normally doesn't go dead like that so maybe I had some apps running or something but yeah I'm gonna let this phone charge for about 30 minutes and I'm gonna finish this video I got the I got my phone charged up a little bit. It's about 30 minutes later, so. Uh, but before, one more thing before we get into the uh, the colognes. So, a worst, a bad buy of this year that ended up. So far, it looks like the company is a scamming ass company. The company is called Durafix. Well. I ordered this battery, which is an AC Delco battery. And I ordered another one just like it. Another AC Delco battery to go into my AC Delco G Series buffer. Well, mini buffer. But neither one of these batteries work. I know it's not my charger because I plug, I plug it into my charger and it'll, it'll say they're fully charged, but then whenever I stick them in here, no power whatsoever, none. So, say, that's the power I get. That means it's dead, so nothing. I mean, I get the light to turn on, but that's it but so I have emailed them I have called them and when you call Durofix it it's almost like it's gonna get you to where you could talk to somebody and then you gotta leave a message well I've done left I left one message one day and then after I looked at the company more and more the Instagram page the Facebook page and all that shit and tried to contact them through email then contact them over message uh, some kind of message thing that they use uh, which goes back and which ends up you message back and forth through email um, but it's like called live chat or something like that but uh yeah so I messaged them and I told you know and I was uh and I left a message talking about uh this company really seems like a scam because it does. The more I looked at it, like I said, the more I looked at it, the more it seemed like a scam. But, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep trying this week if I feel good enough after surgery and I'm gonna call AC Delco too and ask them what's up because if Durofix is a AC Delco, you know, certified AC Delco dealer, I'm going to AC Delco with the problem and shit and see if they can do anything about it because this screwed me all up. These batteries were supposed to last longer than the ones I have and everything, but with the ones that I have and these, it was going to be able to let me go set up somewhere and be able to do a few sets of headlights at a time instead of having to drag my, uh, my, um, what's it called? My, uh, damn, hold on. Okay. That took too long to think of, but my generator, because I have a gas powered generator, but that thing's big and it's heavy, and I ain't trying to haul it back and forth with being on one foot, because I'm, I'm still on crutches for a couple more weeks at least. And, you know, with the way I've been feeling in my side, I really don't want to haul it back and forth off my truck, so, yeah, I figured this would have been a lot easier. But, bad batteries, so, 
I couldn't set up because I wasn't going to set up and then just end up having a couple, having two or three people come in and my batteries only do a car and a half. So I just kind of handed out some flyers and everything. But yeah, they, they ruined my whole plan. And even though I can adapt, I really like going by what I have planned. So, uh, especially when it comes to something like making money and all that because I'm, it, when you're trying to start up a business, you don't want to make yourself look bad right off the jump. So, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get into these colognes. Okay, so the first one is one that I got not too long ago. This is Lon Goom 24K Black Leather. So, and I just, I really don't like this. This is a leather fragrance. It's got, uh, it's got a smokiness to it that I don't really care for. But the notes, the notes are saffron, raspberry, and thyme. Those are the top notes. And then the middle notes are jasmine, olibanum, and amber. And the base notes are woodsy notes, suede, and leather. And I think it's that suede, woodsy, and leather that makes me not like it. Because it smells good from here. It smells good when you first open it up. But when you spray it, spray for y'all, spray for me. Good atomizer. It smells good when you first spray it, but as it sits, it just gets too much of a smokiness to it. So, and it's not like a, it's a, it's a, it's a campfire smell, you know, and I mean, some people will probably like this, and depending on my mood. I probably like this depending on my mood. I just haven't ran across. I haven't sprayed it when I was in the right mood for it. But yeah. It would pro I could probably find this to layer with something good. If I can cut. If I can layer it with something that cuts some of that, that suede. Because I'm pretty sure it's the suede. And the... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's that suede leather and woody and uh, woody woodsy notes that go together that are giving it that. If I could find something to cut that a little bit to where it's still there, but it's not so prominent, it's not so not it doesn't end up so in your face. I probably I probably like it. And then again, who knows? It could just end up growing on me. Now, I mean it's a it's a $20 fragrance, so somewhere around there, $20, $25. So it's not like you really get hurt real bad. It's not like it hurt me real bad to buy it. It's just I think it's one of my it's one of my buys that isn't so great. So but like I said, it could end up growing on me. I could see it happening. Okay. Now that made me realize I do not like uh, driftwood. Damn, sorry y'all. I think I just realized something, but that's, that's why I was kind of looking over there. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the fragrance that, that started not liking driftwood. Or that made me realize it. Oh, well, I don't think it's the one that made me realize. I think this was the first one. I don't know. It might have been the one where I, I realized I started not like. I started, or I, the one I started to realize that I don't like driftwood. So, because pretty much anything with driftwood in it, I don't like. So, spray for y'all. Spray for me. Yeah. And the notes. The notes 
are on the box. It's sea salt, the citron, and driftwood. Those are three notes. And so, yeah, if something, I don't know, this, if this had some, and I'm trying to think of what else it would be. I don't care about this fragrance, so I'll shake it. I don't know if it's a mint or what. It might be a mint or something that, either a mint or something that would make it more watery and, and uh, fluid-like, you know. Um, so, I think that would fix this. I think I can find something to layer it with that I help. But yeah, that's ice citron and driftwood. So, now, here's another one. Pretty sure this one's got driftwood in it. This is Davidoff Cool Water Oceanic Edition. This is horrible. And I don't think any of the other reviewers that have reviewed it like it either. So, but, yeah. So. soap smell a little bit so I'll spray for y'all spray for me it's got like a bar soap and barbasol mix or kind of scent yeah we'll, we'll look up the notes yeah this has driftwood in it too so the top note our water notes it says the middle note is vetiver and the base note is driftwood yeah so spray for y'all spray for me yeah that's what it smells like it smells like barbasol meets like irish spring it's it's not a horrible fragrance it's not horrible like machino toy boy or uh or a couple of these other ones that i'm getting ready to go after yeah, or like versace the dreamer because versace the dreamer is fucking awful i hate that fragrance but uh yeah it ain't that bad and i think i actually think i like it more now than what i did when i first got it but it's still I'm still counting it as one of my worst buys of 2023. So, because these are the, the ones that I dislike the most. Okay. Now. And these all come from the same company. And it sucks because all these were, all these are all natural. So these are a letdown, especially considering this was, what was it? I think this turned out to be like 140 to 160, somewhere around in there. Waste of money, because it's four of these, but it's Juniper Ridge. Juniper Ridge and then it will but like this one's white sage white sage this smells horrible and it sucks because they get this you know where they end up sourcing it from and everything it, it's a whole it's a whole thing that they do to, to help out in, in certain and certain things like company seems like a really good company it's just these fragrances are freaking horrible but white sage spray for y'all sorry to do that to you and spray for me i dropped a couple so this shit stinks this shit smells like when piss has been sitting in a toilet for too long or a urinal or whatever and then the the urinal the, the urinal cake or whatever is it in there that's got like a kind of a 
kind of like some kind of citrusy type smell to it and then you just when you flush it that smell I don't know if y'all have ever done that before but yeah if you've ever used a public bathroom I'm pretty sure you have because people are nasty and people have gotten progressively nastier since I was a kid so but yeah this white sage is just it's horrible it's horrible smells like smells like damn citrus and citrus and old piss so there's that and then next one we have is coastal pine so spray for y'all good atomizers spray for me This one smells kind of like it has a woodsy pine smell to it. I'm trying to think what exactly it smells like. It's not necessarily a bad smell. I mean, it's kind of strong, and it's not like 100% friendly at first. But as a and it. And I think it is because it's so strong. But when you first, when it's not a, it's not a cologne. It's not a perfume or something. You know, it's not for you to spray. I don't think it smells good like that. Now, as a house spray, you spray this stuff and let it sit and everything. Oh yeah, it smells good. As it has a real good outdoorsy smell and everything. If that's what you're looking for in your house spray. So, it's good for that, as far as wearing it, no, 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 now, let me get these other two that I've dropped, okay, now this one is Redwood Mist, Redwood Mist, so, spray for y'all, spray for me. This is another one, real outdoorsy smell. Doesn't necessarily smell like something you'd have on you. Fresh, woodsy. Uh, maybe like a, like a pine cone or conifer or something tight. I'm trying to think. It's been a long time since I've been in the woods, so. But it does. It smells a lot like, you know, if you, I mean, hell, you could still do it now, but like, I know a lot of people, you know, if they live like in that area like I lived in, you played in the woods when you were a kid, and that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of in the woods, playing in the woods, some of the different smells you come across and everything. Good house scent. Not a good, not something, not something I'd like to wear. So... But, okay, and then there's that. So, and another thing is, none of them last. None of them last, because when I was trying them out, I was spraying them on my skin, because I sprayed them on my skin, because I'm like, these are all natural. They don't bother me. Or it ain't gonna bother me to spray on my skin. None of them stayed, like they were gone within like a few minutes. So, to cost as much as they do, like a hundred and something dollars for four ounces for four of these bottles the damn smell should last a lot longer so i hate it because they were all natural and i want it all natural so spray for y'all spray for me now this this has like a it has it has woodsy uh, woodsy notes and stuff to it but it also has like a like a burnt, burnt, some type of burnt oil, burnt motor oil, burnt transmission fluid, something, something that has to do with it, some kind of lubricant that I've smelled messing with cars, and I just, I can't think of what it is, but it's some kind of, it's, it's either a lubricant or just a straight up lubricant, or it's like a burnt oil or transmission fluid. But yeah, I don't really care for this one at all. But, 
yeah so that's it y'all that's that's those are my worst buys of 2023 so i'm gonna get off here and uh go ahead and upload this and make the thumbnail and everything and i will be recording a bunch more tomorrow i'm gonna try so that way i can roll the rest of the week but anyway y'all it's still christmas well it's 12 47 it's 47 minutes past christmas so i'm just gonna still say it anyway because this is my favorite time of the year even though there's a lot of stuff that i can break out but that i can break down on why the, i ain't even gonna say it but yeah so anyway y'all i'm gonna get off here I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas. I hope y'all, if you don't watch another video of mine till whenever or if you never do, I hope you have a Happy New Year too. And I'm getting off here. So, y'all have a good one. And peace, 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 peace.